Hey, what is up, guys? True Power Shot here, bringing you another episode of In His Living Go to. I'm not gonna make a mistake. I won't make it. In His Living Go Shine HD walkthrough now. Oh boy, every time I make that mistake, you guys like to rain down upon me and give me crap. But I, I personally don't care. I make the mistake too often, and I deserve to be crapped upon. Anyway, so last time we left off, we managed to defeat the, uh, the team. Uh, illusion thing. I don't know the name. Don't really care. Personally, don't really like the team that we beat yesterday. Well, yesterday, not yesterday, last time. And uh, don't really care for them. But anyway, um, today we're just you know going to continue on with the story now. Um, last episode of Inazuma Eleven Go Galaxy. No, the next episode of Inazuma Eleven Go Galaxy aired episode 25. Uh, I'll talk about it in a sec. But um, there are a few things I would like to talk about first, as um, you know, some other things after the. Uh, shine, Matt. Oh, what am I on about? So I'm just, my head's just going everywhere today. I just cannot think properly. It is ridiculous, and I think I should turn up the uh, the audio settings for my mic so it actually picks up a bit more. Then what I'm saying? Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't know. Anyway, um, why, why are we here? Um, oh, now I remember. Now I remember. Now I was what I'm thinking. So yeah, I'm talking some things after talking about the uh, galaxy episode. Anyway, so one of the first things I would like to talk about is uh, clearly related to my channel. I have been uh, infected with a disease that I like to call Pokemon X and Y addictionness. Now, this disease is uh, quite fatal. One of the uh, major uh, qualities of this disease is that you play the uh, games Pokemon X and Y way too much and uh, you upload videos about it. That's practically the disease that I just made up now. But um, the point is that, um, as you guys probably tell from your sub box, is I have uploaded a ton of Inazuma, Inazuma, no, Pokemon X and Y videos. Now, I plan to keep this up, not as, I don't know if it's going to be as many, but let's talk about them for a sec, as soon as this happens. Oh yeah, we're seeing the team that just made the finals, and there's Ishido Shuji as coach. Anyway, um, now Pokemon X and Y, I did say this a lot, I do really enjoy the game, and the new series that I announced last time was a Nuzlocke, that I was planning to complete, but um, but uh, if you guys watched it, spoiler warning for that, um, I die on episode four, <laughs> so that backfired. Now um, I did go on and finish the game in my own time, just because I wanted to record HD Wi-Fi battles, which is what I'm going to be uploading Pokemon related from now on on my channel. Uh, if you guys are not a fan of Pokemon uh, Wi-Fi battles, I understand. If you, uh, um, I completely understand that, but at the same time. I the main reason why I do YouTube is to upload um, gameplay of games that I enjoy. Now, um, I play in Azuma 11, I enjoy the game. Uh, I feel like that, you know, partially I feel like I have to do it, but at the same, like, if I upload something on my channel, I, it has to be, there has to be some Inazuma involved, but at the same time, I don't really care. If I get, let's say, I know this will probably never happen, but let's just say I, for whatever reason, hate Inazuma 11 forever and ever, I won't upload videos about it. So that will, that is what will happen, and but that will never happen. And because I really enjoy Pokemon and in the Zoom 11, I like low videos both about them. Now I'm um, back to the uh, Pokemon X and Y stuff. Now Wi-Fi battles. Um, this is going to be a Pokemon tangent. So if you're not a Pokemon fan, you probably have no idea what I'm on about. But anyway, uh, Pokemon X and Y. How I do the Wi-Fi battles. Now um, a lot of people have been wanting to add my friend code on my uh, 3DS. Now I and I just ignored them. Now the reason why I have ignored them is because. Now thinking about it, I probably shouldn't have said to Keshi Nam that he can put my FC in that friend code video because it's true. I do want to try and like battle with you guys. That is true, and that guy is not chasing me. Anyway, it is true. I do want to battle with you guys, but at the same time, uh, what I want to focus on is battling uh, competitively. Now, if you, um, if people who do not know what Smogon is, uh, who makes competitive tiers and stuff, then they probably will not be able to battle me on that. Um, on the competitive level that I want to battle at now, I have battled a few people on Skype, and I uh, that have you know I've added the FCs and stuff, and I have completely wrecked them. There have not been a challenge whatsoever. Now, um, I just you know it doesn't appeal to me just completely destroying people. Now, um, I understand that I have taken the time to EV trend my Pokemon, they, and some of them haven't, but there was a there was a couple of cases where people brought legendary um the three overpowered legendaries, which are Mewtwo, Xerneas, and Yveedle, and I think two out of the three times I got I won six zero, and then another t and the other time I won four zero. So um, yeah, the point I'm making is that um. The people that I battle, which are at um, I'll, I'll, I'll call them two tiers: a competitive tier 
which is what I what I the level I see myself at, and a tier which is the casual tier. Now, I, the casual tier people do not have a chance at, at competing, uh, beating a competitive tier person. So, the people who I battle are casual players, and I am a competitive player. So I don't, they don't really have a chance of beating me. That's what I like to say. I feel like it's boring and such, just completely destroying people that are nowhere near as good as me. Now, saying that, um. The people I do battle are on the competitive tier as well. They know how to competitive high fire battle. The somewhat good, some of them are either really good, really bad at about my level. Now, um, that's those are the people who I like to fight. I don't like to play against people who I, I can just push right, um, push through. Now, uh, out of um, now I'm just gonna compare myself to um other Unizuma 11 YouTubers, mainly Maurice and uh, Fire the Eagle, who are. Uh, how how they how I consider them uh, with Pokemon now Maurice I'm pr I'm not entirely sure if he knows about the smoke on tears and stuff and I'm not too sure if he's uh you know done that but as far as I know I'm pretty sure Maurice is a casual player now if I were to battle Maurice I'd probably destroy him no offense Maurice if you're watching this but then there's Rob or Fire the Eagle now he's also a competitive player and then what and what I've heard from Maurice is that. Uh, Robbie's a very good player, so uh, and I know for a fact Robbie does competitive Wi-Fi battling like I do with Smoke on Tears. So I can safely say that me and Ro um, that Robbie's a competitive player, and I'll probably have fun battling against him. But um, you know, saying that, uh, you know, I'm also happy to battle people, and maybe when I do, I shouldn't bring. You know, I, I feel like I I shouldn't try my all. I should bring my Pokemon that aren't as good like the Pokemon I haven't taken my time. Taking the time to EV train, for example, the team I beat, um, used to beat the Elite Four with, to make it, you know, more fair, more fun for me, as well as the other guy. But um, uh, what was I doing? I just dropped my game. Oh uh, God, not my gamer. Uh. <laughs> Speaking of Pokemon, when I got X and Y, I got given a Pokeball that you can store games in. I don't know why, but I, th I picked it up and just been chopping around like a Pokemon trainer. And because it stores games in there, my games getting fallen out, and <laughs> it's annoying me. So I should really really stop but anyway I'm um, back to the competitiveness so um, yeah generally that's the whole reason why I've not been adding as much friend codes because I consider myself a competitive player and I don't really want to waste time with the people that are casual plays even though I generally do if I feel um, if I'm up for it and uh, yeah that's my rant about Pokemon now um now uh, I think let's talk about a different topic about why why I do YouTube I think I like covered this briefly before not how I do YouTube, so what I think about YouTube as a as a whole, like uh, mainly money wise. Now, um, money wise and subscriber wise, and if you've uh, mainly if you've earned that or not, if you at a certain point you are. Now, um, I'm not gonna say names, but uh, on the Inism 11 wiki, there's been a bit of a. Uh, I've heard from Robin Maurice, there's been a bit of arguments going on about how they don't like a certain person. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say. Who I'm talking about, but I, I know Ma Robin Maurice and a few others will definitely know who I'm talking about. But um, this guy um, he has uh, I'll just I'll, I'll talk about him briefly. I'm not gonna say exactly what he does, just because I feel like saying someone else's name is a bit like you know just pointing them out. I don't like I don't want to target it at him, even though I'm talking about him. But I'm just gonna give my opinion about them. Now um, the way that uh, the way that Robin Maurice described him to me is that uh, he. Um, sees himself better than Maurice and uh, Maurice and um, he sees himself better than Robin Maurice. That, that is what I'm trying to say. Now um, I don't, I have no clue where I'm going. All I know is that I'm running instead of you know why. But you know why is cool. Okay, no, why walking is cool. And oh uh, boy, I'm gonna why now because I'm gonna go off the map to Royal Academy. Oh, <laughs> Royal Academy. How I hate this place and how it brings up horrible memories. Anyway, so this guy he has um apparently he has two YouTube channels. And uh, they're set up to the same account, so I've heard. And uh, apparently, this guy makes a ton of money every month. And uh, the, the way that oh god, no, no, run, no, <laughs> he caught me. Anyway, back to back to my story. And apparently, Robin Maurice, like they didn't have, as far as I can tell, they don't have any problem. Well, they do have a problem with it because um, the reason on one of his YouTube channels, he has um um anime uploaded that is uh you know not legally his, and he's monetized it. And stuff, which is technically illegal, but um, it's technically illegal. Sorry, and uh, and he's earning a lot of money from it every month. And uh, he's also set up the uh, another channel that's been monetized to it, and he's uh, been stealing other people's videos, like just uh, Pokemon-wise, just refer uh, referring to uh, um, 
saying that the video is stolen. In the description, he's the person's admitted to stealing the video, but he hasn't left credits where credits due in the description of the original source of the original source, which is you know I th I'm not sure under what law ca I think that's illegal because it's plagiarism technically, and uh, you know he's just been doing this and monetizing the videos now. Um, He's also, um, apparently, I think he has roughly around about the same amount of subscribers as Rob, I'm not too sure. And pretty much, um, the way that, um, Rob and Murray said that he acted in the wiki, how he was, how do I say, superior than, uh, than, uh, those guys, uh, it's just generally, you know, they, they got pissed off about it, and, uh, then the next day, I was all like, you know, uh, Rob said I was in the sky pool with Rob and Murray, so I had no idea what happened, and they were just telling me about it, and I said, uh, I'll go on the wiki and see if he's there, and uh, literally a few minutes after I got on the wiki, he, uh, the man himself that they were talking about showed up, so I talked to him and stuff, you know, um, just asked him a few questions about it, and uh, I, um, later, after the chat was over, Kalia, my friend here at the wiki, she wrote, uh, was on, came on Skype as well, and I added her to a Skype call with me and Rob, and uh, we talked about it very, very briefly, and she, all she practically asked is that, oh god, my audio, uh, Asked us that why were was I acting differently before in the chat and of course I was acting very differently. I was acting very not myself just because um I wanted to see if uh, Rob and such uh, if the same thing happened to Rob. Now um the way I talked to him he made it so that it sounded like he was admitting that I asked him weird things like do you think I'm better than you or are you better than me and stuff stuff that sounded really weird. And this battle, oh god, I'm not even talking about the team. This team's awesome that we're fighting against in the end. Okay, let's score points now. <laughs> Alrighty, oh yeah, I did some off-screen training, by the way. Anyway, so I made it, you know, I asked him very weird, weird questions. And I even went down to, how much money do you make from YouTube? And he showed me a little, I even got him to show me the statistics, uh, which Rob and Maurice weren't able to find. Now, um... Now the reason why I did this is because generally in real life as well, I um, go pretty far, I, I wouldn't say I go very far, but I do like to go, if my friend's in trouble or if he wants some help with something, I'll go out of my um, go out of my way to um, help them. And you know, that's uh, the same with uh, Rob and Maurice, I consider them pretty close friends of mine, YouTube wise and such. And uh, I'll pretty, if they needed some help, I'll definitely go out of my way to go help them. So that's why I went, you know, that's why I did this. If it wasn't, if it was, some, if it was someone else, not Robert Maurice, I probably wouldn't have done it. Or I would have done it for Kali as well, actually. But if you know, if it, was, if it wasn't one of them three, I probably uh, wouldn't have done what I did. Just scab, literally scab information about out of this guy. Now the way I talked to him, he seemed pretty chilled, and uh, he did. At some points, it did seem that uh, he was very cocky. Like uh, I asked him, "Are you better than me?" And it's like. Mm -hmm. Like, am I better than you? And it's like, oh, I guess for Inazuma. So, he's saying that, you know, you're only better than me at, like, at Inazuma. Now, the way, or how I say better than you is that I'm more successful than me. So, let's say, are you more successful at Inazuma than I am? He was like, no, but everything else practically much I am. But, um, regarding that, um, I will say that he does have a lot of subscribers nearly having as much as Rob. But at the same time, he uploads plenty of different things and most of them have very minimal views like I'm talking about he has a thousand subscribers and most of his videos get 50 views now uh, you know doing this now I'm thinking about I do sound like pretty much a big but I'm just addressing this just because I feel like it's something that's relevant to me now and I feel like I should talk about it and so on and so forth and oh no he stopped the shot crap and she's kids are like, he's amazing! Oh my god, I don't know anyone to intercept the ball. That was bad. Shit. Okay, uh, was a muggy? No! They did a bluff. Oh shit, Oh my god, these guys are good at this game. Mm, let's see if we can stop the ball here. This is going downhill fast now that I'm actually concentrating. But anyway, back to this guy. So, for the amount of subscribers he's getting and the amount of videos he's producing, now he's not getting good views for the videos he's making and um, the reason why I'm saying it like this is that the way that he's been talking makes him sound like he's uh, better than everyone he sounds like he's a bit up himself if you will now let's actually get a point here with Super Gear maybe anyway, he's, the point I'm making is a bit up himself now um, with the whole YouTube stuff uh, making money of an anime that that is illegal and with the whole uh, with the whole uh, taking stealing someone's video 
Well, let's let's talk about that for a second. This is Link Hitler's video. The way he's done it, it's stealing. If he were to say, Link the original source, I would have been completely okay with that. Now, the reason why Robin is pissed off with this guy is that one, the co the uh, uh, the anime stuff on his one of his channel, uh, that's illegal. Two, um, they're pissed off that he's set up both of his account with monta two monetized monetized channels. He set them up with the same, with one email, and damn it, I just dropped my 3DS pin. Screw it, I've got a spare 3DS pin next to me. I actually came prepared today. God, that was the smartest idea I've had all day. I I feel like I'm a genius right now. Having two 3DS pins on my desk, just in case I dropped one during the recording. I feel like I'm a genius right now. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's uh, bring the ball up now. Oh god, this DS pin feels weird because it's my 3DS XL pin. It feels very large, masculine. Of course, that'll be offside. But, um, yeah, the, so that's illegal as well. And the third, I think that the fourth, re, the third reason, sorry, is that um, he uploads videos without giving credit to the original source. Um, which is you know, I don't generally do that. If you see me upload a uh, video, a scan video on a uh, in a zoom on there, I I link the video in the description. Now, and Maurice, uh, in some of his videos, he borrows some of my gameplay footage, and I he asks if it's okay. I hear from me to do it, and I say yes because he asked first. So that's the main thing. As well, asking to use someone else's video is important as well. So um, there's that. And I'm trying to think what else now. Um, oh yeah, the fourth reason is that he sounds very up himself just because he's making a lot of money. And that's that's the point I've gathered. You know, I'm I'm just speaking out of what I think Robin Maurice's opinions are. I, I can completely think I can completely be wrong about their opinions. Quite frankly, but you know that's that's for another day. <laughs> and um. You know, it's just that, now my opinion, now I've talked about Robin Maurice's opinions, now my opinion on this guy is that, he, I wouldn't say he's very up himself, but I do see that he sound, when I asked him those questions, he did a a answer, answer them very weirdly, even though I did ask very weird questions when I talked to him. Um, next, um, he said, uh, and also, wait, I'll just say another thing, uh, apparently uh, Robin Maurice, uh, when they were talking to him, uh, said that, uh, um, we're talking to him. That this guy said he was big in the Inazuma 11 YouTube community, and then they were like, "That's not true." Because if you if you're in the Inazuma 11 community, apparently you have to at least heard of one of us, especially Pyro Shad, and apparently he didn't know who we were. And that I I completely understand that, just because you know it's very easy to miss the videos. And I don't personally I don't consider myself well known uh, YouTube wise, but you know, um, out of us three, the most subscribers, but. Now, back to, now, now, let me just say my opinion. Now, um, I feel like if you try to do good with the YouTube stuff for fun and not for the money, you'll be successful. Now, me, Robin Maurice, Maurice doesn't even monetize his videos. I'll, I'm, I'll happily say that I do monetize my videos. I'm not going to say how much I get, but I'll just hint you now. It's less than $100 a month. I'll just hint that at now. It's actually, you know what, screw it. I'll say the exact total. I get around about $50 a month. Now, really... <laughs> That's nothing. That is that is not something you'll be able to live off. I'm actually trying to get a real job in real life. And um, when I first started YouTube, I didn't even know you can make money from this, which is quite bizarre. Now that I think about it, because you know it makes a lot of sense. It's a website that runs ads. I didn't know when I started YouTube nearly four years ago that you can make money from it. Now, yes, I've done YouTube for four years now, and it's only in the past two years that I've done Inazuma 11 related things. But doing YouTube for four years is very crazy. I've had 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 a, I did have a huge gap in between for I think six months, then my holiday last year for three months of not doing it. But still, four years is a crazy long time to do YouTube for. And um, now I've actually changed channel a lot, uh, just changing names and stuff. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and still pirate it around for the nearest time. And with the whole money thing, like I said before, if you guys are interested in starting YouTube stuff, I don't even. This is just a really crazy tangent at this point. <laughs> anyway, uh starting YouTube stuff, if you're interested, have the number one tip I can give you is to do, do something that you enjoy and have fun. If you're not going to, if you want to upload something that you completely hate, that you do not like, that you do not have fun with, you will set, you're setting yourself up for fail. Only do it if it seems fun to you. If you find Inazuma 11 fun and you want to share your experience with everyone else, upload Inazuma 11 videos. That's just the common thing to do, not Oh, uh, Inazuma 11 is popular, I'm going to upload videos about it to make a ton of money. That's not what you do. That is the wrong approach you should take to YouTube. First, my number one, my golden rule for YouTube is that 
the first thing that the thing that comes first is fun, and then the second thing that comes afterwards is uh, making money. At that point, you have to have fun. Now, personally, I could, I would probably do this. I would probably, you know, do this for free. Still, if like each went down, I do. This is a hobby of mine, not a job, and not something I do for the cash. I do it for the, I do it for the fun. There is no. If someone, if you were to tell me three years ago, hey, do you want to start making YouTube videos? I'd be like, sure. And if you told me I can get paid for it, it's like, okay, cool. I, I do this for the fun first, and that's the point I'm trying to make here, not to make money. Now, how this guy sounds, I feel like he's doing it for the money. I cannot be entirely sure about that. Now, the reason why I say that he's doing it for the money is because one, he do, he's doing illegal things. Two, uh, he's a bit up himself. And three, he uploads like a ton of videos a day. That get practically no views and you know, etc. <laughs> now, um, now my opinion on this guy is that I don't. How do I put this? Uh, hmm. I'm not gonna say Robin and Maurice don't like him at all. I will just say that now. But um, I personally, I will just say this. I don't care for him. Now the difference between not liking someone and not caring about them. Is that I'm not interested in this person whatsoever. I could, I could personally not care what he does. I I wouldn't care if he continued what he's doing. And uh, then so, disliking someone is wanting them to stop what they're doing. Personally, he can continue what he's doing. I just if someone would bring his name up to me, I'd be like, okay, he's doing. I don't see what he's doing. That's the right thing. But I'm not going to go out of my way to stop him. I, it's that person's decision to uh, for what they want to do with their life. It might be the wrong thing to do, but you know, people do the wrong thing all the time, and uh, at the end of the day, I don't care about this person. Sure, he might, you know, talk to me whenever he wants to, and oh, wait, wait, we're gonna take a pause on my tangent, the inner zoom in because the epic music has started playing, and Shisuke, Kashin versus Kashin, oh my god, Shisuke has drawn the power of Goshes in Titanius, I think the name is, and he's gone all Endo style and going for the march in the hands. And then, the epic music, the epic of music kicks in. Oh, this is one of the best tracks ever. Oh, I think my favorite track from this game is a uh, double wing theme. Oh, it's so good. It's amazing. <laughs> anyway, back, back to my tangent now. We've got the epic moments over. It's done. It's finished. <laughs> back to my rant. Now, um, like I said, I don't really care about what this guy does. Personally, he can continue what he's doing. It's not like things don't last forever and this guy will soon realize about what he's doing. Is wrong and um, he might stop. That, that's the point I'm making now. Um, he might stop. I don't. I don't care if he does stop. If he doesn't, you know, I understand uh, Maurice and Kitchen Armed uh, don't like him, but that's because of how he acted to them. He didn't act, uh, as far as I can tell, he didn't act at all like what he said. Like as bad, also as bad as what they said to me. And um, you know, personally, like I said many times now. This guy can do whatever he wants as long as he doesn't bother me. I'm fine with it. And personally, I don't like. I said I don't care. I understand that what he's doing is wrong. But at the end of the day, at my school, I go through tons of the things that people do are wrong. And unless they don't, as long my if they don't affect me, I could care less. Now, actually, let's why let's get why out of here. Get it? Because we're gonna get out of here. And I said why? Because that's the button we used to. I'm gonna shut up now. But anyway, um. In my daily life, people do wrong things all the time. Now, the only thing that I care about is if it affects me or my friends. Now, this is, like I said before, God, if saying that just completely contradicts everything I've said. Um, personally, with this thing, I think this is a thing I'll leave to Catching Armed and Maurice to settle um, amongst themselves. Like I said, I don't care about him. If he bothers me, though, I will start caring. And if, if it gets worse for Maurice and Catching Armed, I will start caring as well. And there's a little orange haired man there who's amazing. Talking to Ishido Shuji about why he plays soccer. He's my favorite player ever. Oh my god. He's amazing. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Enough fanboying for a moment. And yeah, okay. Um, But now, to wrap up that whole entire rant, as long as he doesn't bother me and as long as he does not uh, keep on uh, annoying, catching armed, and fire the eagle or Robin Maurice. I'm, I'm gonna not care about him, and I'm not gonna really care what he does. Now, like I said, technically what he's doing is wrong, but at the end of the day, people do wrong things in our daily life. As the law breaking goes, things, I think I said this already, but things don't last forever, and one day, like everyone else online, will get caught. Now, with the whole law court thing, technically what I'm doing is legal, just because, you know, I'm making the video 
Actually, I just thought of something I can tangent on about even more. Technically, what he's doing, he's putting no effort into it. God, okay. <laughs> I completely forgot about this. God, okay. Technically, this guy is not doing effort to actually make the video. All he's doing is downloading and re-uploading. As far as the videos I've seen of his uh, can go. Now, I'm going to press Y and presume that, yeah, I called it. We're going to attend this house. So smart. Genius. Hi, lady. Hi, Aki. Uh, Aki? No, is that right? I don't know. I'm confused. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> God. Confusion over. Anyway, he's gone into no... He's done no effort to make the video. Now, what me, Robin, and Maurice do? Especially Maurice. Tons of Maurice's videos. Even one that he's working on right now. It has spent him over... He's, got, he's been working on it since Sunday. And it's nearly... What day is it? Today's Thursday. He's been working on it for so damn long. And I don't even think it's finished yet. That is just crazy. Maurice... Out of all of us, I think Maurice uh, goes through the most effort to make these videos. And then with me and Rob, we do effort as well. We go through some effort as well. But at the same time, Maurice does it on a whole different level than us. True, I might do YouTube editing. I, 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 I've got a lot of videos backed up. Uh, actually, no, I've practically uploaded them all. There's only this. I need to record this, and then I've got one more video, and then that's it. And I'm back to having no videos backed up to upload to go. Anyway, um, this guy's gone in through no effort, and he doesn't really uh he doesn't deserve what he has that because he has gone through zero effort as far as i know you have to render the video like me and Maurice does you have to edit the video you have to record the video you have to be entertaining and oh this is bromance right here surgi has left hacker the bromance is done it's over the friendship is now over until in his middle of go to chromostone rhyme edition or Go Galaxy versus Japan, best team ever, enough said. Okay, now back back to this. Now that the bromance is done, uh, let's actually go into a... Uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, how he does it, taking... He's gone through no effort to get where he's got to. Now true, he does have to upload, but he has... But that's the easy bit. That's when you've done, and that's like the home stretch. The hard bit is editing the video, recording the video, and then rendering it because you have to have a good computer to render Maurice takes Maurice's videos take a, such a long time to upload from what he's told me one of Maurice's videos can, has taken up a few hours before as far as I know um my video um because I've got really good internet and because I record with the capture card in HD quality surprisingly you think my videos would take more to render but because it's not with the iPhone or a phone recorded it actually is much easier to upload as a matter of fact Maurice's videos let's say he recorded 30 minutes of Inazuma 11 gameplay from his phone that's like 2 gig or when I record a video not even half that's how good it is to have a capture card now not to brag and see I've actually put I think uh, out of uh, me Maurice and Rob I think I put the most money into it just because I've bought a second 3DS to record gameplay of uh, the linked teams uh, what else? Uh, a capture card, which is the same price as the 3DS, and that's it. That's like $500 into this YouTube thing. Anyway. Haha, <laughs> he's dead. I mean, he's dying. See me up! Is it working? No. Okay. Um, let's continue along now. Let's go into this desert. It's very tasty. Anyway, this is a troll here. See, look at where the sign is pointing. Let's go this way. In the invisible path. See, I told you it was an invisible path. Alrighty, uh, don't tell me I have to fight this guy. Damn it. Oh. Anyway, um... But yeah, this guy, the wrap up everything I've said, I don't care that he's got, he's at this point, but he hasn't really deserved it, is what I'm going to say. But um, yeah, and with the points I made before, as long as he doesn't bother me, I won't care about him. If he does start bothering Keshin Armed and Rob a lot more than what he already has, I'll start caring. And he doesn't really deserve where he's at. Now that is my tangent for today. And that is like one of the very rare times I like barely talk about Inazuma 11 in a video. Usually I'm like, Inazuma! That, that's actually really weird. I think I'm going to hype off today. God, that's ridiculous. But anyway, it's Desert Stadium. Sand Stadium, probably one of my favorite stadiums. And actually, no, I, I said the Pinball Stadium was my favorite. The second favorite then. This is a really cool stadium. And it has probably one of the most memorable cutscenes in this game. I'm going to... I'm gonna be so happy when I see that cutscene. And ooh, another cutscene.
I think that reason alone just makes me just love Teo. Okay, okay. Before the episode ends, actually, no, I'll, I'll save it for next time because that is, I've been talking a long, 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 talking for a lot today. Actually, let's talk to Teo first. How are you, Teo? Why are you playing for the other team? Why don't you play for Raymond like you do in Chromastone, huh? Why? Why are you the bad guy? What? Uh, what? That was weird. They're just like completely cut out. It's like. Anyway, um, that will be all for today. Next time, I know I said I was going to talk about Galaxy, but I think my tangent about that guy went on for way too long, uh, and about YouTube itself, and you know, just some things. But anyway, um, yeah, that'll be all for today, guys. Next time, no matter what, I don't know when next time will be, but it will, there will be a next time. I can confirm that for you. Anyway. Uh, next time what we're going to be doing, we are going to be beating Teo and make him realize why the bad guy is being bad, but despite how awesome he is, um, I don't think I will be needing to do off-screen training like I've already done, just because of the fact that my guys are already pretty powerful, as they are, and um, let's face it, I'm like, pff, I'm the best at this game, let's just, let's just face it, I'm number one at this game, not, I need to stop hitting my audio box thing, my audio recording tool, yeah, it's going to like, just quiet out, anyway, 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 anyway. Right, yeah. And uh, we're also going to be talking about why I like Teo, since it, it feels completely relevant to talk about Teo when we're fighting against him. And sweet, we're level 34. God, that was amazing. We're level 33 at the start of this episode. But anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. This is True Pirate Shad signing out. Peace. And fun fact, every time I do the, uh, the signing out piece, I do like the, the soldier salute. And then I like, when I say peace, I like do the uh, flick in the air. It's kind of weird. I feel like I'm actually... Okay. Anyway, see you guys next time. True Power Shed signing out. Peace.